Hi, I am Kim Carter and I just wanted to come to you with some meal planning tips. Um, so I am a team and bleh, I am an independent Team Beach Body coach. Um, I am a six star lifetime diamond uh, coach, elite 2015 coach. Um, I have been following this type of nutrition plan for about gosh, two and a half years now. And um one of the main nutrition plans that I recommend to the vast majority of my customers is 21 Day Fix. And so many of our programs follow this 21 Day Fix plan because it is a super, super simple lifestyle change. It's not a diet where you're cutting out all kinds of foods um, and never letting yourself have a cheat meal, never letting yourself have chocolate or wine or anything like that. It teaches you how to do that in moderation um, with a new healthy lifestyle that you can truly live by for life. Um, diets, you know, where we're cutting out all kinds of stuff and you know, you, you're not going to stick to that. You're going to stick to that maybe for a week or two and then that's it. So we have to have a good clean eating, you know, super nutritious nutrition plan for life that we can actually, you know, sustain and keep going. And that's what 21 Day Fix Nutrition is going to teach you. Um, so if you don't have 21 Day Fix and you want to learn more about this and get the program, email me, kimcarterfitness at gmail.com, or you can go to my blog, kimcarterfitness.com, and there are different articles um, or blog pages about um, some of the different, you know, programs and kind of how to get in touch with me and all that kind of stuff. I would love to be your coach if you're not already working with somebody, and I would love to work with you through especially 21 Day Fix, but any of our programs, because they all kind of incorporate the same type of healthy nutrition plan. And again, this is a lifestyle change. This is not some kind of crazy crash diet that you're going to do for a week and then be done. This is a healthy lifestyle that you are learning and you're learning how to live by. That's the best way to do it. Um, anyway, so assuming you already have your 21 Day Fix Nutrition Guide, you are going to go to page four. This is very important. Read through the whole book a couple of times, but then you're going to go to page four. That is where you're going to cal calculate out your calorie bracket. Super important. Once you calculate out and see what calorie bracket you're in, go to page 19. That is going to give you a breakdown of exactly how many of each container you're going to eat per day. So people get these containers in and they think, oh my gosh, they're small. Well, they're really not all that small once you pack the food in. Like you can cram the food in there. Squish the sweet potato in, squish the rice in, <laughs> um, <laughs> squish the proteins in. Uh, but you're not going to eat just one container per day. You're going to eat, say, three or four of your green containers per day, three or four of your red containers per day, two or three of your yellow containers per day. And then all is based on which calorie bracket you calculate into. So you're going to find that on page 19. It's going to tell you exactly how many of each container you're going to eat per day. The next important thing to look at, starting on page 25, are food lists. So for each color-coded container, it is going to show you a list of the foods that you can put in that container. Now, what you want to do is you want to really try to stick with the top half of each list. These lists go in order. There is, you know, there is some rhyme and reason as to how these foods are laid out. Um, take the yellow container, for example, which is your carbohydrate container. At the very bottom of the list, waffles is listed. Um, and yes, you want that to be whole wheat waffles. And yes, you can have them every once in a while. You don't want to eat a waffle for every single one of your yellow containers. Um, you want to stick to the top part of that list. You'll notice that sweet potatoes are like right up there at the top. Super healthy, complex carbohydrate for your body. And yes, you need carbs. Um, carbs fuel you. And you're going to be extremely grumpy and unhappy without carbs. You just have to know which ones to eat. So again, stop, I mean, stick to, you know, especially the top half of these lists if you can, uh, the majority of the time. So you're going to look through, starting on page 25, all the food lists. Um, also, just to mention in the back of your book, there are some tally sheets that look very similar to this. Mine are not colored because... The printer where I am, I'm out of town right now, and the printer in the hotel lobby only print, prints black and white. So this is not a pretty colored page, but you can print them off in pretty colored pages. Um, and ask me how. They're on your teambeachbody.com site. Um, and if you don't have that, again, let me know. KimCarterFitness at gmail.com will get you set up. So in the back of your book also is a sample plan breakdown. This happens to be for the 1200 to 1499 calorie bracket and it gives you, you know, a list of how many of each container you get per day 
and a sample breakdown showing how you might want to break down your meals every day. You're gonna wanna eat six meals per day, breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack. Now, the plan that I typically follow is the 1500 to 1799 calorie bracket. That is what works best for me. And I will say, I have a daughter that's nine and a half months old right now. I followed 21 day fixed nutrition for the most part um, throughout my whole pregnancy and throughout this whole year and you know, with breastfeeding and everything. And I bumped up even an extra calorie bracket. So sometimes I was eating, you know, more around the 1800 calorie range. Um, so just wanted to throw that out there and I've done great with it. Um, so I just wanted to walk you through a sample of what works for me because I have so many people that ask, you know, okay, so I've got these containers now and I've got these food lists, but how do I actually make a meal plan? So what I do, I know what I'm typically going to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner as far as, you know, a protein, a veggie, a carb, you know, things like that. So I write out those first, those, oh, sorry, those big meals first, and then I fill in my snacks. Um, Yes, it's getting late at the conference that I'm at, so <laughs> sorry. That's why I'm getting sleepy. But to walk you through this, so what I'm going to do first, I know that for breakfast, and I've already filled this in, so I'll just follow along. For breakfast, I typically like to have maybe my protein, which is going to be my Shakeology, and maybe some fruit in it, a half of a banana, and maybe I want some steel-cut oats on the side as well. So I've got one purple, one red, one yellow. That's my breakfast. Then I skip down to lunch. I know that I'm probably gonna want a green, a red, and a yellow. So that's your veggie, your protein, and your carb, okay? Then I skip down to dinner. I know I'm probably gonna eat two green servings, a protein, and a carb, okay? So I've got kind of the main parts of my meal filled in. Um, and let me actually start this on a new one. So again, for breakfast, I'm gonna do a purple, a red, a yellow. For lunch, I'm gonna do a green, a red, a yellow. For dinner, I'm gonna do two greens, a red, and a yellow. So you can see on this second plan down here what that's gonna look like. Now, I go back and I fill in my snacks based on what's left over. So I know that I'm supposed to have, let's go with purple, three purples in a day. It's all listed up top here for me, for my this calorie bracket. So I've got two more fruits that I need to fill in. So say I'm going to add one for this first morning snack and I'm going to add one in for lunch. Okay, so I've got those added. So now I've got my three fruits for the day. I also need one more green because I need four greens for the day. So I'm going to add another green for an afternoon snack. So all my greens are now taken care of. Um, let's go to carbs. I'm good on carbs. I've got everything that I need. Uh, protein, I need one more protein. Now here's my little tip. I personally, I stay up late. Um, I have to have a snack around 10 o'clock at night. And I don't want it to be a carb or a fruit because, you know, of the way that they're metabolized and digested and everything. Um, I like for it to be a protein snack because for me, that's very satisfying. I go to bed, my tummy's nice and happy, um, but I don't have all these sugars breaking down in my body either. So I, mm, I always save an extra protein for a late night snack. So I'm going to have my protein as my late night snack, and that takes care of my four reds for the day. Now, I'm going to fill in my blue. I don't have a blue anywhere, so I have one. I am going to, I could either do it like some cheese on a salad at dinner, or I might do some hummus with the veggies that are in my afternoon snack, and I think that's what I'm going to do. So, see, I've got an afternoon snack of a green here. I'm going to add some hummus in with it, which is my blue. Now I've got my orange left over. I've got one orange to put in somewhere. Again, if you're having a salad at lunch or at dinner, that can count as your salad dressing. If you're not and you wanna save it, it can be something like green olives or almonds or cashews or something with that late night snack. And I know that green olive sounds really weird as a late night snack. I love to have like Greek yogurt or cottage cheese with a little bit of raw honey. Sorry, I can't stop yawning. Um, with a little bit of raw honey and have green olives as the salty that goes along with that sweet. So that's kind of a weird thing that I really, really like. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I also have my teaspoons to fill in. So on this plan, I have four teaspoons. I'm gonna fill those in and I'm probably gonna use, um, you know, maybe 
maybe my veggies at lunch, maybe it's a salad and I want to use some oil and vinegar on that. So that's one teaspoon. Maybe my veggies at dinner is roasted vegetables, you know, and I need some of that olive oil to roast the vegetables. And then I've got two teaspoons left over. I'm totally doing nut butter as my late night snack. So I have everything filled in for the day. Okay, that's how easy it is. Just break it down so that it's nice and simple for you. Um, so I kind of walked you through that one. So a lot of people ask, well, what do you do if you don't want to, you know, cook like just roasted veggies or grilled veggies and, you know, a grilled, say, turkey breast for dinner and a sweet potato, you know? What if you want to get more creative with your meals and, you know, actually have some sort of casserole or that kind of thing? Um, just break it down into your containers and I'll make another video with a couple of examples of how you can do that and get into some more complicated recipes. But for starters, like until you really get the hang of this, I would highly suggest just stick with very simple ingredients um, because you're going to be used to getting, you're going to be, yeah, getting used to meal planning and meal prep and that sort of thing. And it's just so much easier if you just keep it nice and simple for the first couple weeks until you really get the hang of it. And then start throwing more complicated recipes in. Um, again, I have a bunch of recipes on my blog, kimcarterfitness.com. Um, I've got a bunch of meal plans that are already done. So go there and check them out and see what you think and um, tweak them, you know, to fit some foods that you might like better than what I have listed on there. But use them as a guide to help get you started. Um, so anyway, I hope that helps. Um, if you don't already have a coach and you're interested in this program or any of our programs and this type of nutrition plan, please email me, kimcarterfitness at gmail.com, and I will be more than happy to get you started. Um, I love learning about new people and meeting new people and helping new people on this health and fitness journey. Um, you feel so much better when you're eating the right foods. You just really, truly do. So anyway, I hope you find this helpful. Um, shoot me a message if you have any questions, and um, that's all for tonight. Y'all have a great night. Bye.